dear Libra, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of March with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And this would be a love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And the reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this side is you, it might as well be the person or the situation you are dealing with. I usually read for the empath side of the story within this dynamic, but also remember that the other person holds up a mirror of your shadow. So use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. I can also recommend that you watch the previous love reading for February because that is the energy right now and this will be the prediction for March. And I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto the Angelis. <laughs> and uh, okay, so when I open your deck here, I see the Knight of Swords and the Eight of uh, Wands in the reverse. Uh, so uh, you might be very convinced of someone has been uh, doing you wrong and maybe you have blocked this person here. Okay. So I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the, uh, the, the high priestess in the reverse with the eight of wands. So this is tricky. This is someone having a secret and wants the world to, world to know about it. So I'm going to try to find out what this means. I feel that it's this card and that card. So we'll see. I don't feel good enough. Inside me, I scream your name. Okay, so uh, there's a person here and maybe you have a very strong spiritual connection together, but maybe both of you or you or just the other person is denying this uh, connection. Even if we rather would want to run after the other person, we don't. Uh, so if you know that you are denying the connection, uh, then this is probably you. If you felt like you have done everything to keep the connection and everything that was possible for you, this is probably the other person. Okay. So uh, I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have, yeah, it's love here, but it's a blocking communication or it's not being shared. We can love someone on a distant but refuse to tell it. It's a secret, but in the same time, we would want the other person to know if they could only read our mind and, and maybe chase after us also uh, so that uh, we can feel really sure that this person wants the same thing that we want. Okay, so I call the six elements and here we have five of cups in the reverse with the eight of wands. Uh, so um, it's someone having a hard time uh, moving on from something painful and maybe having a hard time forgiving for this painful thing or even um, kind of comprehend with their mind that this painful thing happened. It's like it was not allowed to happen or it was not supposed to happen, but it happened anyway. Maybe this person is also blaming you for this. Um, so um, for them, it's kind of obvious uh, I'm hurting. Uh, you need to, you know, um, run after and, uh, and um, uh, see to that uh, we can come together again. So even if this person is running away, they probably want you to run after them and persuade them into having a relationship with you. Okay, so uh, six elements. Oh. Uh, ten of swords in the reverse together with the queen of wands. Hmm. Uh, so this is a person that have... Um, um, they have kind of um, tried to put themselves in a position of, of self-respect. They don't want to be badly treated. The queen of wands, it's like this cat. If you do something wrong towards it, you won't be able to keep it in your home. It will run away from you and move into the neighbors that have better food or something. Um, so I don't know exactly how to put this in the in the rest of the story, but maybe this is mirroring how you have felt that... Uh, you weren't treated well, so uh, you used your your judgment to uh, kind of leave this situation. Now you don't want to run after this person. Okay, so 
justice, the devil, ace of wands. Um, so I feel that there's um, like a fair thing that people could do here. Uh, but at least one person in the equation refused to do the fair thing. They rather would want you to be dependent on them. So they had this, uh, you know, magical allure on you or they so goddamn attractive that you can't help but uh, giving them all your love, even if it's not fair and they never give it back. So that's what I'm feeling with these cards. And probably that's what you have reacted to uh, with the Queen of Wands there, uh, that uh, this wasn't you know, down your alley, you didn't want to be treated like this, uh, all the cat's hair was standing up with state, like electricity, so it wasn't comfortable to uh, keep on um, accepting the situation as it was with the unfair element, okay. So I'm just going to tune in for a few seconds to uh, uh, you and the person most on your mind and the love story between you two. Uh, so this is the new bottom of the deck and we have the Empress in the reversed. So I'm feeling like the field is closed, the cow is not giving any milk, the forest refused to give away timber. Uh, someone that gave a lot in the past doesn't want to give anymore. And then we have the Eight of Cups, tricky tricky card. Uh, we are trying to get away from someone but we boomerang back to them. Try to get away, boomerang back, try to get away, boomerang back. It's an eternity loop. It's like Groundhog Day. Okay, <laughs> so uh, this is what's on your mind about the person most on your mind. And this is the situation with said person. This is what's on their mind about you. And this is your feelings towards them, the bond between you two, their feelings towards you. And this is um, uh, your behaviors and attitudes. And... Uh, um, outcome for uh, outcome for March <laughs> sorry it wasn't really straight um, and that's obviously super important and this is um, their behaviors and attitudes okay <laughs> so this is uh, the situation and we have the Queen of Wands here and it's actually a very good card in this position this is someone that has been a little bit through hell and back and learn something in the process, become, became very wise in the process and now can sort right from wrong and also help other people see the right from wrong. For example, being the one um, <laughs> taking the bully aside and telling them that this is not how we behave towards uh, the people in our community. Uh, sh sh shape up, <laughs> okay? So, you know, that kind of energy. Uh, so I'm thinking uh, you are being pushed to the wall and uh, you are not going to take it anymore. And this is fair and it's just and it's uh, uh, you're fighting for uh, a thing uh, inside of uh, humanity that can't fight for itself. For example, the little child or um, fighting for justice, but in a very bitchy kind of way, but also warm and generous it's like um, very black and white if you do the right thing uh, she will give you everything if you do the wrong thing uh, there will be hell to pay or she will move you know get her fee food somewhere else i'm saying she because it's a queen but it can be a he as well and this is what's on your mind about the person most on your mind uh, so you think that they are very selfish and uh, they're only thinking of themselves they don't want to give of their uh, resources and um, that they um, uh, might be keeping you unfairly on an arm's length distance because uh, uh, they just refuse to give you love that's what I'm feeling and this is um, what's on their mind about you and we have a six of cups here so it seems like they would want to give you love and they would want to reconcile with you and and fix things with you and um, um, maybe it's something they are keeping the secret, like the high priestess in the reversed. Uh, but uh, they definitely want a reconciliation with you. And this is the bond between you two. And we have this um, little child here that this Queen of Wands is fighting for. That 
um, one person shouldn't do all the taking and the little, you know, the person that's most empathic or most vulnerable is doing all the giving because the other person is so tough, they can uh, kind of threaten with walking away. Uh, if this little person doesn't give the right thing, then okay, I have no use for you, bye bye. And this person will just be a, a puddle of tears. Um, and and that's um, it's the background story of what I'm feeling here, that maybe before you were a helpless victim to this situation and then you uh, started to shape up a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm actually hearing a song here. It's from uh, a movie called Grease. Uh, it's Grease 1. Uh, you better shape up. Uh, you better shape up because I need a man. Okay, funny, funny suggestion. But it's a good song. Uh, it's a good video to the song as well. They look really sharp, these people. Uh, and um, so that's the background story that someone has uh, kind of uh, really wanted to uh, give their most beautiful treasure to the relationship and the other one just uh, you know took it and maybe stomped on it a little bit uh, and didn't um, recognize it for its value uh, and, and refused to give the sa same vulnerability back in, into the relationship. But now this um, page of cups comes in the reverse here and it's because uh, probably both sides in this equation refuse to uh, be vulnerable in this situation. So even if um, this person wants reconciliation with you, they refuse to reach out, maybe still refusing to show vulnerability um, after all this that you have been through. It's very possible. Uh, so still being stubborn with it. And here we have a uh, three of cups. So this is your feelings towards the other person. So you really love them and you feel at home with them. And uh, it's, um, um, it's easy to be with this person when they are not being unfair. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, the vibration of uh, being next to this person or holding their hand. It's the loveliest feeling uh, ever. It's just so, you know, everything becomes fun. Just uh, watching a movie or go for a walk or um, uh, go shopping or... Uh, whatever you're doing, <laughs> visiting old relatives, everything becomes fun because you're all together with these, this person or these people that knows you inside out. They can read your every signal. Uh, oh, what happened? I saw you shift mood. Uh, didn't you approve of what my uncle told you? And you say, no, it, it kind of it was a little bit offensive because this person knows nothing about me. So you kind of read into each other like this. It's like you're tapped into each other. Uh, so that's your emotions towards them. And this is their feelings towards you. And we have this Knight of Cups in the reverse. So uh, a person that would want to give you love and have this connection with you, but they are not mature enough to show this vulnerability. They still think that it's, um, um, it's how you lose. It's when you show vulnerability. It's how you lose when you, show, when you tell someone what's really on, on your mind or what's really in your heart. It should always be a cover-up story, uh, how we really don't care or, um, yeah, I love you today, maybe not tomorrow. Uh, the Knight of Cups can be very flickery. But in the same time, this card is turned towards you. So I'm thinking they are very preoccupied with what you're doing and uh, what you're saying and social media and uh, but they would want you to be the vulnerable one you need to show this vulnerability vulnerability they they don't want to they don't want to be in this weak position um, and it's not weakness to if, if two people show vulnerability towards one another this is the kind of relationship you will achieve uh, a relationship where where both people supports and uh, one another and we understand each other in, in the depths we have each other's back but I think this person uh, they maybe don't trust that to be true and they think if they re re reveal their secrets to you they will be backstabbed so they rather be the one you know keeping all the knowledge knowing your secrets stabbing you in the back whenever they they feel that it's, it's necessary um, so it's not very brave, but I'm sure they have their reasons for, for behaving like this. I'm sure they have their reason for 
uh, for being weak like this or uh, secretive like this or um, it's really vulnerable to be like this because you're not very strong when when you need to hide everything uh, a person that's honest and true are much more uh, courageous of course so that might be why this person say I don't feel good enough um, probably they see you being able to be vulnerable and, and show love and, and um, they kind of self-load a little bit about them not being able to do this and and then sheeping out and and kind of selling you out as well is what I'm feeling there uh, so they would want to reconcile, but they probably want you to show the vulnerability and them being uh, the one that acts like it's not a big deal for them. Okay, so this is your behaviors and attitudes. And we have the seven of swords. <laughs> so you're not going to give them your secrets anymore. Uh, and um, uh, you are not going to share your innermost truths with this person. So you're becoming more and more like them. Uh, you're acting more and more like them. I don't say that this is a bad thing. I think maybe this is what you were supposed to learn, to not reveal everything uh, for another person until you know that you can trust them. Uh, maybe you have been too generous with uh, giving away your inner child to, to someone that would uh, do it harm. Uh, Seven of Swords is a um, thief, uh, liar, cheater, someone that uh, has bad plans for other people. They dig this pit for other people and hope to fall uh, that you should fall in there and become their victim. But I'm thinking you are saying um, <laughs> that you have learned the game now. Okay, so you're not going to uh, be the easy, easy victim here. And this is their behaviors and attitudes. And we have a judgment here. So judgment is a very good card in this position. Uh, it shows that this person has a very good chance of maturing and being able to see this from an above perspective, uh, growing up, being more uh, mature, more brave. What more can they lose than losing you? They have already lost you. Uh, so uh, what do they gain by uh, acting this... Um, um, flawed lover here or this um, inconsistent person that act like hot and cold maybe uh, so um, this is what they are left with um, if they can't be vulnerable if they can't tell you the truth they won't have you so this is the moment where they need to decide if it's worth uh, having this pride this uh, ego that uh, is very weak and uh, fragile uh, or to actually become the soul, the brave, uh, true soul, and reveal the truth and be honest and show vulnerability to the one you love. Uh, so, um, and um, this is uh, people rising up on the judgment day. So it might be some kind of um, uh, more of this reconciliation energy uh, that something that has been dead is being uprisen. Uh, so uh, I can't see that uh, they are doing anything per se maybe this card will reveal any action but i'm seeing they are kind of getting it it's click it says click and there the penny drops and here we have the four of wands in the reverse so as long as no one take action it doesn't matter how much this person knows that uh, you are the most important person in the world as long as no action is taken and as long as they refuse to uh, show this vulnerability there will, won't be any relationship so there's still a connection between you two um, probably maybe both of you inside you you scream the other person's name so there's this connection but there's no relationship uh, because um, um, if it would be a relationship here it would be unfair so that's not good either it would be probably uh, this person being the bigger person and the other person keep on with the stealing and acting and um, uh, the drama. So uh, they are telling us that uh, I used you as supply. Uh, so they used you to make themselves feel enhanced, to make themselves feel celebrated, to make themselves feel special. That you showed this vulnerability and they showed no uh, vulnerability. They just uh, played you basically. Uh, and this is how they like it and they feel superior okay and at the same time they want to marry you and it's a 
not something that they can have as long as they don't um, come and show their true colors uh, when they show their the true feelings and the true vulnerability when they open up on equal terms um, I need more time to heal and find myself so they have maybe made certain epiphanies but they can't really put this into good use at this point to just realize oh maybe this is what I did wrong Ugh, I'm feeling how it hurts um, I still don't know if I ever loved you. So uh, when a person is disconnected from their own feelings, they can't uh, determine if is this love, is this uh, some craziness uh, from my side, feeling this connection with this person and that I treated so badly. Uh, is this um, just confusion or an old pattern, um, something that makes me being sucked into this relationship? So they don't know if it's really love or uh, if if it's them being, they don't, I think they feel like they have, uh, there's something wrong with them, uh, like on a soul level or maybe on a uh, psychological level, that it's something that's um, wrongly wired. Not that they are unsmart, but there's something um, like they have been wired badly or learned love in a bad way or they have been taught love from uh, predators, wolves, devils, and, and therefore they can't recognize sweet love when it's given and they just use it like the little red riding hood and the, the wolf. Uh, we are a bad match. So there might be this as well that you have um, um, some kind of um, some issue in this relationship. And maybe you don't have the same world view. One might be like a um, um, uh, climate hugger and the other one uh, is in the petrol business. <laughs> I don't know. Or one person might be uh, really young and the other one is really old. Or it can be uh, one is... Uh, from one religion and the other one is from another religion and they hate each other or they don't you don't uh, um, like the same uh, uh, sports team you are like on the opposite there as well or you come from different social groups um, they might feel like they are more good looking and you are not as good looking or the other way around I don't feel good enough okay uh, I have a lot of insecurities yeah because uh, if we love each other, yes, it's easier to have a relationship if you are on the same page. But often we can learn things from each other. Like one, the climate hugger can uh, realize that there's people maybe that are scared of giving up their, uh, their securities. How can we work around this? How can we make people feel more safe and more happy in their life without... Uh, the car for example and um, the petrol hugger could see that well if we all have a comfortable life maybe we won't be around in 20 or 30 or 50 years so we can learn a lot from each other uh, and it can be a very uh, happy uh, coming together and if one person is very immature and the other one is like older maybe they can balance out the immaturity we can learn or a Let's say that one person is very immature and older and the other person is young but very mature. This can also make for a good match. So, um, And different religions, you can uh, realize, oh, it's almost the same book. It's the same teaching. Also, oh, all right, there's no duality. Uh, there's no really a, a fight here. It's um, um, We are all the same. So it can be very fertile with this uh, being a bad match. So this is what this soul wants to say to you. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. Uh, so I think it's in the alley of I still don't know if I ever loved you. They feel like they are trapped in a cycle, a negative cycle, and that you are a part of that negative cycle and that they would wish to end that cycle and be released and be able to move on, uh, probably with their pride still intact. So they don't have to do this uh, courageous, brave thing that they don't uh, feel like they are ready for. Okay, let's see if there's something more. Uh, we have this. Uh, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. 
so that's the other side of the coin. One is like, I don't want to end this cycle. And the other one is, uh, uh, I love you um, so much. <laughs> okay. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Uh, so they are very little to take action and very uh, a lot about like leaving things up to chance or uh, again because they are not courageous enough to take uh, their own action. So they don't want to, to take this obvious action. They just want to go with uh, any kind of flow and if you are gone, you are gone. It's nothing they could do. Uh, they couldn't have treated you better or showed more love. It's what it is. Um, it's a good um, thing in in the like in the bottom of it all to just go. I'm always saying to you that whatever happens is fine, and uh, if you're asked to uh, give up something, just give it up. Uh, you can't control and hold on to it. But th I feel like this person is using it to, as excuses uh, to not uh, live up to their like the higher expectations that their soul might have on on them. Um, and they wish you to just forget how they treated you, you know, in the past. And so they don't have to stand in court for that. So it's still, it's a lot of avoidance with this person. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. Um, and that's again true. But again, I'm feeling they are using it as excuses um, you triggered this in them. You made them behave like this. And uh, so they have nothing to say that they're sorry for. Again, having trouble with this. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. And this is also probably something that we all need to learn in our relationships. Uh, but again, don't have any demands on me. Don't ask anything of me. Don't don't let me stand up and be responsible for things. Just let me be whoever I am and float around, do whatever I want. And uh, it should have no consequences. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe you are supposed to learn to, you know, live and let live, let go. You can't own another person. Uh, if they are behavi behaving badly, uh, let go. So you're supposed to learn all these things from this person. But this person actually needs to learn to take responsibility. Uh, so it, and then it will become balance uh, when both of you have learned these uh, different things. So they are not wrong, but they are not right with that either. It's a little bit escapism. And this is what the divine wants to say about your relationship moving forward. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation and visualization helps bring you together. Uh, so if you think that this is a hopeless person, uh, and you still feel very attached to them, uh, give it a little bit of time uh, where you put a lot of focus on trying to repair your relationship on a 5D level. So this can help this person tremendously with taking more responsibility for, for their actions. Uh, so for example, you could, um, um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube calling in your soulmate, things like this, sending people love, uh, healing connections. Uh, so uh, before you go to sleep, uh, listen to one of these or even when you sleep you can listen to one of these and um, um, this can help your connection you can also do your own meditations and visualizing uh, the relationship healing or a lot of love and forgiveness being sent uh, there's the hopo, <laughs> hopo ono, pono prayer um, uh, that's a uh, Hawaiian uh, prayer that you can send to heal uh, connections and, and send uh, f forgiveness. And uh, I don't remember it exactly right now, but it's um, I love you. Uh, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Um, something in that alley. So um, beautiful. And how likely is it that new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so it might be that you will be released to find someone new if you call in your soulmate maybe there won't come this person that you're now has in your mind you might actually with healing that connection uh, you might actually be ready for for something new okay uh, so uh, my dear ones uh, thank you so much for watching i would urge you to watch the reading their true thoughts and feelings in their true thoughts and feelings playlist that will probably tell you more about this story. 
and thank you so much uh, for being here and if you want to see more readings from me particular on uh, personal growth and not so much of love um, you can um, become a member to my channel as a supportive member you will get collective readings for spiritual growth and uh, also all readings ahead of time and free from ads as an extended member. And if you uh, get uh, to become a full member, uh, you will also get personal readings from me. And for my regular viewers, not much have changed except you get more videos from me and the old type of videos arrives a few days earlier than they did before. So they are now being posted Thursday to Sunday instead of Tuesday to Friday the following week. And to not miss out on any of my other content, you can visit my channel. There's a lot of different playlists there with your favorite videos. And if you click the arrow to see more, you will only see the last 12 videos from that playlist. Rather click the headline to see all the videos that the playlist contains. So my dear Libra, I hope this was um, uh, a good reading for you and that you were able to get some answers uh, to your questions. I want to send you all my gratitude. I'm so grateful for my loving and supporting viewers. So until next time, take really, really good care. Stay blessed and bye bye.